There are 110 star powers in the game, and Bell's grounded star power is the worst. It just prevents enemies from reloading, but chances are you're not going to hit them when they're really low on ammo anyway, because she has such a long range. Surges to the max star power is the second worst. It's only really good once he reaches stage four, and even then it's only useful on a few maps. Although it's the only useful one in Solo Showdown, so keep that in mind, I guess. Next is Penny's last blast star power. It deals a lot of damage, but it's super easy to dodge. Next is Griff's business resilience star power. Yes, the healing over a long period of time can be useful, but the healing's almost nothing, and honestly, I, it's just not very good. Then we have Grom's Foot Patrol, which makes him faster when he still has his super charged up. If you have his super charged up, you should probably just use it. Then is Meg's Heavy Metal Star Power. If her mecha suit dies, then it explodes and deals damage, but most of the time, her mecha is going to be destroyed when she's far away from enemies, so this is not that great. Similarly, we have Gene's Spirit Slap Star Power, which increases his attack damage when he has his super charged up. If Gene's gonna be doing a lot of damage, it's probably up close because he already pulled somebody, so this can be useful, but not by much. Next is Mortis's Coiled Snake, and I'm really contemplating putting this in the C tier. It's just so much worse than his other star power and doesn't provide as much value as a lot of these other star powers in the game. With that said, though, it is used kind of frequently, so C tier, F tier. And because there aren't many in the F tier, I'll, I'll leave it in the F tier. <laughs> but what's not F tier is you guys for subscribing. I'd really appreciate you guys helping me reach a million subscribers. If you like watching Brawl Stars content, it's a no-brainer. Don't be a no-brainer. Okay, next is Squeak Super Sticky at the bottom of the C tier. It's a pretty decent effect, but it's really easy to avoid his super, and I just think his other star power is better. Next is B's Honeycomb star power. Shields are best for tankier brawlers, and B is not very tanky. Plus, it forces her to hold onto her supercharged shot, which isn't the best for her. Then we have Jesse's Shocky star power. This star power has some use in heist if you are in low trophies, but it's super easy to avoid the shots, and most skilled players don't have a problem with it. Next is Eve's Unnatural Order. This is the one that makes it so that her largest egg attacks first. It does make it slightly easier for you to hit some of your shots, but it doesn't come with any stat boosts or anything like that, so it's just, it's not that amazing. Next is Edgar's Fisticuff star power. This does increase his healing, but it's honestly not by very much, so I don't like using it. Then we have Bo's Snare Bear star power. This can be absolutely amazing, and this is a competitive tier list, so we're talking about in the competitive meta, and the truth is, in the competitive meta, most players are going to be able to avoid his mines, so this isn't actually that great. And most of the time you're playing Bo, you're probably playing him on a bush map. Then we have Colonel Russ's field promotion, and to be fair, this has insanely good potential, but it only works if your teammates stay alive, which could be great, but most of the time you're gonna die at least once. Okay, Pam's Mama's Hug star power. This star power can be really good, but it's only really that beneficial when you have teammates close to you, and it just kind of is outshined by her other star power. Daryl's Rolling Reload star power. This one sounds like the most fun to use, and like you'd want to use it maybe in Heist, but most of the time the firepower that he has is already enough. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be controversial, but Dynamite's Dyna Jump star power. This star power, I mean, in the elitist of Dynamite players. I'm talking so elitist, we're not even in the competitive meta. We're just talking about people that only play Dynamite with Dyna Jump. This is the most amazing star power possibly in the game. But for most players, his other star power is better and you probably shouldn't be using this unless you're facing a Mortis and you need to jump, but like, yeah. Then we have Edgar's hard landing star power. The extra thousand damage is good, but kind of like Daryl, Edgar already packs quite a big punch, so it's not as useful as some other star powers. Then is Carl's protective pirouette, and this star power does have its use case. It's not as useful as the other one though, and I don't think it shields him quite enough for how close he has to be for his super to actually deal damage. Then we have Rose's thorny glove star power, which I do like this one. The damage increase is really nice, but it's only useful for a short period of time, which may or may not be the right time for her Rose to actually even attack. <laughs> then we have Jackie's hardy hard hat, which is kind of funny because this is literally a no-brainer star power. <laughs> it's just a stat boost, which is nice, but it's not amazing. Next is Shelly's Band-Aid star power, which I really like in Solo Showdown, but in 3v3 game modes, it just takes way too long for it to recharge and isn't that useful. Then we have Buzz's Tougher Torpedo. This makes it so that the minimum time of his stun duration is half a second, but it doesn't increase the maximum stun duration, so it's literally useless in a long range and is only useful in close range, which is why it's not that amazing. Okay, then we have Buzz's Circling Eagle, and I contemplated putting this in the B tier, because it literally makes or breaks bow on maps with lots of bushes. But it's only useful on maps with lots of bushes. And there are more brawlers in the game that can reveal bushes than there used to be. So this one just doesn't shine as much. Another star power I contemplated putting in the B tier, but I'm ending at the top of the C tier, is Tick's Automatic Reload. I personally play this one more than I should because his other star power is better. It keeps him alive much longer, but this one's more annoying to the enemies, which, I mean, if you're going to be playing Tick, that's probably your goal. Another star power I consider putting in the B tier is 
is Amber's Scorching Siphon Star Power. This increases her reload speed if she is close to a puddle. But if you're attacking while standing next to the puddle, you have to be right on the edge or you're going to accidentally light your puddle on fire, which is why this one's kind of like, I don't know, I just don't get as much value out of it. And starting off in the B tier, we have B's Insta B Load Star Power, which by the way, if you're enjoying this video, after this video, you can check out this gadget video that where I pretty much did the same thing. So next is BB's Batting Stance Star Power. I like the shield from this. It's it's pretty good, but it goes away when she starts attacking, which is usually when she's taking damage. So next is Carl's Power Throw, makes it so that his attack goes faster and returns faster, which means that he gets more damage and it's, it's pretty solid. It's not the most amazing star power, but it's good. Ooh, I forgot to put Nani's Tempered Seal in the C tier. Considered B tier actually right here, but I think the C tier makes a little bit more sense. The shielding damage is insane. Like she can soak up so much damage, but Nani's not really a tank. And usually when you play her, you want to try and deal a lot of damage from a distance. And when you're using her super, you probably want to be away from enemies anyway. It's just kind of weird and not that useful in my opinion, which is why I put in the C tier, except for in Siege against the Siege bot. That's insane, but they remove Siege, which I'm still sad about. Next is Mr. P's Handle with Care. I like the additional splash damage that comes along with this, but it doesn't make all of his attacks splash, which is why it's, it's average. Next is Griff's Keep the Chain Star Power. This makes it easier for him to hit multiple projectiles on similar targets, which is actually like really solid. It's not amazing, but it's great. Then we have Shelly's Shell Shock Star Power. <laughs> That's hard to say. The slow from this is really good, and usually it means the enemy is going to die, but only works for the super, and it's not as good at slowing as other brawler abilities. Then we have Apid's Boosted Booster. This does make the boosted range much, much larger and is solid, solid B tier. Then we have Max's Running Gun Star Power. It makes her reload faster whenever she's moving, which is pretty much all the time, and that's useful. Then is Nita's Hyper Bear Star Power. This thing is absolutely insane, but only if it's actually dealing damage, which isn't that useful against enemy brawlers, which is why this is usually only used in the heist. But right next to it is her Bear With Me Star Power. I used to think that this was like such an amazing star power and was just so great. But the truth is you rarely heal your bear when it needs to be healed and it rarely heals you when you need to be healed. When it happens though, it's good, which is why this is B tier. Okay. Frank's power grab. This star power adds so much damage to Frank, but it does require him to be the one that lands a finishing blow on an enemy. And after that, it only lasts for so long. So like it's got trade-offs, but right next to it is his spun star power. This is just a stat boost, but the stat boost is insane. He's already the tankiest brawler even without this. And this just adds so much HP, but it doesn't change the way that you play Frank very much. Next is Squeak's chain reaction star power. This increases damage for mo hitting multiple targets, but it also just increases your damage for just hitting one target. So it's like a medium mediocre permanent damage buff. Then we have BB's home run star power, which I think is the better one out of her two. The extra movement speed helps her dodge more shots than her shield actually prevents. Like when you get hit by the shield, then they're going to charge the enemy super anyway. So I like this one more. Then is Colonel Ruff's air superiority star power. This adds more offense to his attack and it lets him destroy walls that he wants to, which isn't usually good for Colonel Ruff's, but if you choose the right walls, it can be. Next is Lou's super cool. This gradually increases the frozen that the enemies actually get when they're in his super, which can be good, but most people try to avoid being out of his super anyway, so that's why I put in the B tier. Next is Ash's Mad as Heck Star Power. This increases his movement speed the more that he gets raged. It's good, just not better than B tier. Next is Lola's Sealed with a Kiss Star Power. This makes her shadow actually heal her teammates and herself with each projectile. This was amazing until they made it so it's not as ideal to put her shadow right on top of her. So B tier seems to make sense for it. Okay, next is Poco's Decapo Star Power, and I consider putting in the A tier, but I think that the B tier just makes more sense for it. It's a trade off between like using your attack to actually heal a teammate versus using it to actually attack an enemy. Sometimes you get double value, but most of the time you don't. In the end, I think B tier makes sense for this one. Don't get me wrong, with the right team comp, it's insanely good. Okay, Jackie's counter crush star power can be amazing, especially if she's facing off against close range melee brawler, but ends up getting wasted on long range brawlers, so I put in the B tier. El Primo's El Fuego star power, this does a fair amount of damage. Rarely is that extra damage what's actually going to get you the kill, but it can work out sometimes, plus it prevents them from healing for a longer period of time, which is useful. Then we have Colt Slick Boots. It doesn't make him the fastest brawler in the game, but it does make him faster than a lot. And if you're skilled with aiming and dodging as Colt, like that can be really useful. It does take a lot of skill though, so B tier. Okay, Bull's Berserker Star Power is insanely good if he's able to survive on that low HP. It's some of the highest DPS in the game. And in fact, I think it is the highest DPS in the game, but he frequently dies before really getting to use it. So B tier. In fact, yeah, I, I think I'm going to put it a little bit lower in the B tier, kind of close to C tier. Next, we have both of Brock's Star Powers. Okay, more rockets. I love it. The super damage is great. But 
then you have his rocket number four, which is also kind of more rockets. They're both good, and I don't know which one I like more right now. <sighs> Dynamite's demolition star power. This deals a lot of extra damage and allows Dynamite to one-shot a lot of brawlers, which I like. We also have Grom's X-Factor star power. I like this because it's it, you don't have to think about using it, but that extra damage does come in handy a lot. Now, you'll notice that I put El Primo's Meteor Rush also in the B tier with his other star power. I just like this one more because that additional speed is going to help him recharge his super more because he can actually chase enemies down and finish off the kills. And his punches can do a lot more damage than the fire does from his other star power. This is Crow's Carry and Crow, which deals extra damage to enemies when they are below half health. This can be insanely good in finishing brawlers off, but I don't think it's as good as his other star power. Okay, next we have Mr. P's Revolving Door. I feel like if you're going to play Mr. P, it's because you want those porters, which are good counters to a lot of brawlers. So as long as you keep his porter spawner alive, this is a great star power. Okay, next is Sprout's Photosynthesis, and this star power can be really good, but does require bushes, and Sprout doesn't always get played on mass with lots of bushes. But if there's not lots of bushes, then I definitely recommend Overgrowth Star Power. The additional splash damage, I mean, it's good. It really comes down to whether or not there are bushes on the map that Sprout will actively be using or not. Okay, Leon Smoke Trail Star Power. This makes him so incredibly fast. He's already fast without it, and it makes him way harder to hit, which is really solid. It just lasts for a short period of time, which is why B tier makes sense. Next is Ash's First Bash Star Power, and both of his are in the B tier, but I like this one more. It helps him charge his rage faster and makes him way more aggressive. Then we have Colt's Magnum Special Star Power, which I like more than his other star power. Then we have Colette's Push It and her Mass Tax Star Power. In a 1v1 situation, I like her Push It Star Power more. However, if you're able to hit multiple enemies with it, then this shield is just insanely good, which is why these two are just right next to each other. It's a toss up, honestly. In fact, I'm curious which one you guys like more out of Colette's, Brock's, and uh, Nita's, who are all right next to each other. <laughs> next is Ems's Bad Karma Star Power, which deals a lot more damage to tanky brawlers, which is, I mean, uh, all brawlers, really, but it's especially good against tanks. Then we have Byron's Injection Star Power, which makes it so that he can actually pierce through targets. So this, this can be amazing, and I still like to use it a lot, but it's not as good as his other star power. <laughs> there are the F, C, and B tier, and next we have the A tier, which are better than the others. Just like using Code Kairos in the Brawl Star Shop is better than the others. K-A-I-R-O-S, Code Kairos in the Brawl Star Shop, better than the others. <laughs> Starting off is Buzz's Eye Sharp, which increases his charging radius, and I love this star power. It's great for Buzz. And great for Surge is his Serve Ice Cold, which allows him to maintain his level. I don't, and I don't know about you guys. I mean, I, I never die as Surge, so yeah, this one's useless. Don't use it. <laughs> Amber's Wild Flames. You get two puddles on the ground, plus she charges her super when she's standing on top of them. Double win. A tier. Oh, Spike's Fertilized Star Power. This thing is so good. It really is so good. Like those moments when you heal yourself and having to catch an enemy with it, so nice. Okay, Terra's Black Portal. I like this because it's going to force the enemies to like waste some ammo on it. And you might even deal some damage and it will probably deal some additional damage if you actually hit an enemy with your super. Overall, pretty much always useful. Oh, and Penny's Balls of Fire. Man, this makes, it just adds so much area control to Penny and really makes her turret kind of feel worth it. Man, Poco Screeching Solo. I can't believe that this is the better one. This used to not be the better option, but the damage that it deals is pretty solid. It can attack through walls. I mean, it helps you finish enemies off quite pretty frequently. And it's obviously the better option in a 1v1 situation. Then we have Jesse's Energized Star Power, and this star power is so amazingly unfair if you're able to completely heal up your turret. Like, the enemies, they, they, they're they gonna struggle against it. And here we have Mortis's Creepy Harvest. Being able to heal yourself for every kill that you get is honestly insane. It, the damage that it heals is just so good. Next is Nani's Autofocus, which can be amazing, especially if you're able to fully charge it up, because then you can actually one-shot a lot of brawlers, and it's not that hard to do. Next are both of Barley's Star Powers, and props to Supercell for giving him two A tier star powers. I know this is silly, but this is for more damage. This is for healing. And most of the time, you're probably better off using medical use. However, if you're playing heist, then this is going to be the better option. But there's really not much of a wrong choice between these two. Next is Ems' Hype Star Power. And this is definitely the better Ems star power. It helps her stay alive a lot more often. The only time when you would use her other one is when you're facing tanks. And you know you're facing tanks because it's power leak. This really provides a lot of value, guys. I highly recommend trying it out if you don't. And if you're not using 8-Bits plugged in star power, what is wrong with you? The extra speed boost is so useful for 8-Bit. I mean, it may, it takes away his one weakness. Oh my gosh, Pam's Mama Squeeze Star Power. This is so good at offering control, and I can't tell you how many times I've seen enemies just walk into her air, helic area and just die because they're not paying attention. Next is Piper's Ambush Star Power. That is funny how long it took me to realize that it's because she's in bushes and she <laughs> ambushes them. So much damage, nothing else to say. Next is Sandy's Rude Sand Star Power, and this star power is really good because 
because it's always going to reveal where enemies are. And this is better to use on maps where there's lots of bushes. But otherwise, I recommend his healing wind star power. They're both amazing, but this heals way more than this deals damage, which is why this is better if there's not a bunch of bushes. Next is Max's supercharged star power. The additional supers that she's going to be able to get every match that she uses this is going to be worth it. It's really great. Next is Rose's plant life star power. She's usually played on maps with lots of bushes and that additional healing every second adds a lot of value. Okay, in the A tier is Fang's divine souls star power. If he is facing against enemies that have one single projectile, this thing is incredibly useful. It's super great. Also in the A tier is Stu's zero drag star power. More distance is really great with Stu's super, especially if you want to cover a lot of distance like in Heist. Plus it makes long flame trails, which we all like that. Oh, Byron's Malay star power. I still have a hard time with this one. This one's just so good. The denying the health, it's insane. I just wish I would have given it a try sooner because it's actually really good. Then we have both Rico's Robo Retreat and Super Bouncy. Typically, I like to go with Super Bouncy more often. However, Robo Retreat is, I mean, it's its really good at helping Rico survive. So it's kind of a toss up. I want to know which one you guys like more. Same thing with Sandy's two star powers as well. Next is Daryl Still Hoops, which is, this is really good. This one either is always like super crazy good or just always bad. And now it's in the A tier. Also in the A tier, we have Bell's positive feedback star power. Getting that additional shield whenever those projectiles bounce it's actually really good then we have meg's force field star power and this thing other than like bb's shield which could technically last forever as long as you don't attack this is the longest lasting shield in the game which i'm thinking about it jackie's is even better but a tier it's such a good one after she loses that mecha it's crazy next is piper snappy sniping and if there's not a lot of bushes for ambush then snappy sniping is the way to go and even sometimes then this is really good if you're getting good at hitting your shots which i am then uh, yeah that's solid <laughs> Ooh, and then we have Magic Puffs for Gene. This one used to not be very good, but I was I would always say it's best for you to not play close to Gene. But with this star power, it's actually really good to play close to Gene. And finally, we have the S tier star powers. Starting off with Gale's freezing snow, guys. Being able to slow enemies consistently with your attack, it's like Oh, honestly, this should have been an entirely new brawler instead of a star power because it's so good and incredibly annoying. Then we have Leon's Invisi Heal star power. 7,000 HP healed in seven seconds. Are you kidding me? Oh, then takes well oil. Being able to heal that frequently with that star power. I mean, it's just it's just so good. And Crow's extra toxic. I know a lot of you guys are going with carry and Crow for that extra damage, but this is the way to go for 3v3 matches. It's such a big debuff to the enemy team. Then we have Lola's improvised star power. Yes, it's only active on the final ammo, but if you just use all of your ammo, which is not normally recommended for most brawlers, but for Lola, it is. That's a 30% buff to your attack damage, which is crazy. Stu's gas so heal can keep him alive in the most ridiculously insane situations. Like, come on. I think I'm more frustrated with these star powers than I am happy that they're the S tier. Ooh, and Gale's blustery blow. Yes, his freezing snow is in the bottom of the S tier. I do think this one is better if there are walls. However, this one's the one way to go if there aren't good walls that you can stun people because this, it's just so good right now. We also have Terra's healing shade that's better at healing than Pan is like actually <laughs> thanks fresh kicks which instantly recharges his super whenever he kills somebody with a super like you can do insane team wipes with this ability and still have your super charge up afterwards <laughs> and near the top of the s tier not quite number one is spikes curveball it makes it so much easier for you to hit enemies and makes it so much more difficult to dodge yes you can still dodge it but it's pretty hard and offers a lot of control to spike oh i forgot about lose hypothermia star power it's right next to uh, his super cool star power let me know which one you guys like i like hypothermia slightly Slightly more because of the decreased uh, reload speed the enemies have. And this tier list is looking so perfect already. I hate to do this, but we've got to break it up. We got to put Bull's, uh, I, I meant to put Bull right next to his. These two, they're, they're both pretty much similar. I usually go with this one more often than uh, this one, but you know, the shield, the shield is nice. This is just good for heist. And the best star power in the game is probably soon to be nerfed. Would you be surprised if I told you it was Eve's happy surprise? If her largest egg hits an enemy brawler, it spawns a little dude that kills them. Okay, well, most of the time it just annoys them it's insane and it needs to be nerfed and there you guys have it the tier list make sure you guys grab that screenshot and please don't crop my face out okay I, I know you redditors out there please yeah it's just I'll, I'll smile okay this is awkward subscribe for more content you can also check out my free fire and my clash mini channel unless i reverse those orders i always forget which one is which and here is another brawl stars video in fact this is the gadget video that you guys should i've just realized i've been looking at the wrong camera this whole time this is the gadget video you guys gotta check out thanks for watching for now this is Kyros. i'm ticking by we'll see you at brawl stars